How is everybody doing, guys? As you guys see on the screen here, we're back with another FC24 video, and I have Frankie De Jong, first owner. I did get him from a player pick on yesterday's video, pack opening video, I believe. That you guys would that would have been on my channel. If you guys didn't see that, go check that out. It's a huge pack opening. I got really blessed. I got Frankie De Jong. I also got a few other icon. I got one icon, foot birthday, and a few other you know foot birthday cards. But this was definitely the one that just you know stood out. Now, one thing I'm going to say. Thunderstruck, De Jong, as soon as I crafted SPC, did not leave my team besides he either got a red card or I was trying out some other midfielders for player reviews. This card is going to be even better because he has Anticipate Plus and Incisive Pass Plus. Trivella, I wasn't the biggest fan of. I was, I've was, i never been a Trivella Demon Merchant like that, um, even though it was like meta, the way to score, and it's still really good to score like that, but I didn't really use it like that, so... He has really good stats. I'm, I have a, a shadow chem style on him. Pace and defending gets up. Position shooting shooting has eleven. You know what? Let me take you guys to footbin actually because it's a lot easier to see on there. Let me go right here. Put the shadow. I mean, look at the shooting. Look, look, okay, look at his thunderstruck card. Plus eleven shooting is crazy. And then plus three fours and fives on everything else. So it's just a better card than last one. He has five star weak foot and he has way more shooting. So. Huge, huge update on him. How much was this SBC at the time? 329? Okay. I remember I remember it was kind of expensive at the time being, but that was a while ago. Was that November? That's crazy. That Thunderstruck was one of the greatest promos ever, man. Like it was it was it was insane. So Shadow Chem Style is the way I'm gonna play him. Um I could I would I would I could see why you guys would put like an engine chem style um as well. Oh wait, I didn't even show you guys that, did I? Here's what he looks like with the shadow, just in game because didn't if I didn't show that. Um yeah, insane that his car was that much better. Uh, let me actually show you guys this, just in case I forgot. I don't know if I, remember, if I switched this scene. Uh, yeah, but plus 11 shooting from his previous car, plus 12 to positioning, plus 11 to finishing, plus 10 to shot power, and everything else is like plus 10. So this card honestly is insane, insane. Yeah, he doesn't have Trivella Plus, but again, like I said, I don't really fit uh, Trivella Plus like that. But play him at this right-hand side as a center as a center mid that goes kind of goes my, that's my box-to-box -box kind of midfielder right there. So I was kind of on my, my DM. Xavi's kind of like just a central midfielder. So De Jong, I think, is going to cook. I already love his Thunderstruck card. This card's coming in at 1.4 million, 1.2 million, I believe, at the time of me recording this. So if you guys have thought about considering getting the upgrade, is it better than the Thunderstruck if you guys have that, like a lot of people do? And you're probably watching this video because you want to know why, if you want to know if he's better or not. Um, let me actually put his, his jersey number on before I forget. He already has it on. Never mind. So... We're going to get into some gameplay, show you guys probably two to three games, see how I like them. Is he worth the, what is it, 800,000 coin price difference from this card, from the Thunderstruck card to this card? I'll let you guys know from the after the review. Oh, look at, look at De Jong now that he can finish. Just beautiful. Left foot, green time, banger all day. He's, he's making the push up field too, so I like that from him as well. Now, um, if you if you like the I was I was just thinking about this while I was making the while I was doing playing the game. If you if you like are a huge fan of Travella Plus, you think it's like game changing and you really love it, then maybe it's not worth it. But me personally, I don't really care about Travella Plus. He still has Travella, the normal one. I think the two play styles he gets, and especially anticipate. If you want to use him as your all out, just a straight up DM. And with Anticipate Plus, it's going to be insane. Like, I think that's definitely the greatest, you know, defensive playstyle in the game. And we get another goal right there. Beautiful. I mean, look at this, guys. What is it? His interception's got to be, like, so high. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. From one interception from De Jong, we get this counterattack. Beautiful. And we get the rage quit. 3-0 in 31 minutes. He can't contain me and we're gonna move on to the next game oh the young the trivella that was nice from him too oh the green time with the trivella especially with his high shooting now i feel like that would have had a chance maybe I know he doesn't have Travella Plus, but he still has Travella regular with the good with the increased shooting. I feel like it's kind of Yeah, you don't have Travella Plus, but you get the boost from the shooting, so I think it kind of makes it better. But who knows? Oh, we're gonna give this to Frankie right here. 
I don't think his free kicks are actually that good, so we're about to find out. But if I can... Oof. 90 curve, though, but 70 free kick accuracy. Let me bend this like Beckham right here. Three bars of power. Green time. Eh, weak shot. I should have lifted it up a little bit. Maybe a bit more power, but... Ah. Uh. There we go. A little more power. Oh. I think I needed even more power, which is crazy. Green time finesse shot. Super far out the box. About 35 yards out. And he puts in the top right corner. Beautiful from Frankie. All right, guys. So we're done with all the gameplay. We finished the games. We had four games, two goals, two assists. Definitely should have had more goals and probably eh, the assists, whatever. Honestly, this card, this card is 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 really good. I think it's better than the, than the Thunderstruck. That's the first thing I have to say. Now you can argue you love Travella Plus, then keep the Thunderstruck. Just keep it. Don't just don't. I didn't want to hear anything about oh, but Travella Plus, Travella Plus. I don't care about that, right? I don't use it. Anticipate Plus is the mo is in my opinion the most broken uh, play cell in the game. I feel like you have to have it in your, in your team. The fact that he has it at center midfield is insane. Him with paired up with like Gundawan, who also has it in the midfield, sounds insane. Um, this card can play as a center mid, but you can also put him like in custom tactics, put him as a CDM, especially with Anticipate Plus. He's 5'11 with those crazy interceptions, especially he's maxed out interceptions with a shadow. So that card looks really great, really great to me. Maybe I wish it was a little bit stronger, if anything, but I still think he's really, really good. Um, high, high work rate, so he does go up and down the pitch. That's why, in my opinion, I like him as a box-to-box -box midfielder and not a straight-up DM. I like him as a box-to-box. -box. It really helps out a lot. Um, he can even tackle the ball for you up top because of Anticipate Plus. Now, the shooting stats on this card are better. Are even Just plus 11s everywhere put the shooting, so it makes it so much better. He does have finesse shot regular. With five-star weak foot, guys, he can finesse with left or right. If you can green time your finesse shots, get the right angle, it's going to work out for you. He still has Trivella. Um, the normal one, so you don't have to. Even, you're not gonna like miss out on if you don't have if you want to upgrade, right? Um, I think this card is better than the Thunderstruck. It feels better. He feels smooth. It's just overall a really good card. I can't even. Maybe I wish he had more shooting. I don't know. Like maybe that's the only thing you can really say. In my opinion, this is like a nine point five out of ten. The reason why I would have given him ten is because he didn't have five star skill moves, and maybe. Maybe I wish the shooting was a little better, but still, as a box to box, box, box midfielder, it's not that important, but it kind of is just not as important as like a striker obviously needs a, the finishing. Mm -hmm. So in my opinion, guys, this is a 9.5 out of 10 for me. I do think it's worth the upgrade if you have the Thunderstruck card, but only if you have the coins as well. So you kind of have to have both. If you have the coins and you have the Thunderstruck, I would recommend picking up the, the, the young card. Buy, buy them tradable, right? And then you could sell them back if you don't want to. You're going to lose out on some tax, I know, but... It's gonna be okay because you're gonna win that back in rivals. Get your get your coins back and be able to make the money the ba money back from the taxes. So, all in all, the verdict nine out of nine point five out of ten. I think he's gonna be in my team for the rest of the year unless another De Jong comes out. Um, but yeah, I love De Jong in real life. I'm a Barca fan, so it's just you know a little bit of bias in there. But he's gonna be my team for sure the rest of the game until he gets like a team of the season card or something like that. But that's going to be today's video, guys. If you guys liked the video, enjoy. Um, please do like the video. If you guys like my content, subscribe because we're on the road to 500 subscribers. And for now, guys, we're out of here. Peace.